this is an electrical room and we'll be discussing about all the equipment that is installed in this electrical room as you can see we have uh, one mcc one smdb and three numbers of dbs so we have power db which is a small power db and then we have the lighting db and then we have some two modules which are called mxc for lighting control okay for emergency lights to be precise these two as you can see we have cable trunkings and we have cable trays which are installed as well we have gi conduit which we've done and then we have bus bar which is living from the substation going to fit different levels or different floors okay i'll start with the first fix and the second fix for the different services number one we've done installation for lighting installation for small power as you can see this is a small power which we've done embedded in the wall and we've done the wire pulling which is of the two by three by four box which we installed embedded inspection as well everything is done so on the next these are also socket points socket points and then these are data outlets which we've done embedded conduits as well so the boxes are all embedded so left now is just a cat six cables which we are going to pull at this level also lighting has been done all the lighting here are emergency lights so we've pulled the cable also everything is embedded we've pulled the cable which is a fp200 cable fire rated cable it's pulled as you can see okay i move now to the cable trunking which we've done we've done the cable trunking for lighting and small power which is done it goes outside and then carry all the wires and then bring to the electrical room for termination to the db and then we have cable tray also which has been done as an incoming supply as you can see we have this cable tray which is done it goes to the riser and then takes supply from the other floor that is the 50 floor and then comes to feed these two numbers of db we have the db lighting which is a normal light and then this other db is the emergency light db and then in this other side this mxc is used for the emergency lights okay so what happens is for the mxc's we have two different ports we have the c1 and the c2 which is feeding one particular circuit of the emergency light and then we have the mxc2 which is c1 and c2 as well okay i'll move to this other side this is the light the power db which is a small power db um we've done the cable tray and then trunking as well which is done the triple tray for the incoming supply and then trunking for the outgoing wires which are coming to fit from the db okay i'll start with the smdb the power feeders okay the incoming supply which is from the bus dock as you can see bus dock 2 which is going to fit in this box of the bus bar so in this box of the bus bar we have um a circuit breaker which we've done termination us as well okay we have the cable being pulled from the bus dot goes and then terminate to the smdb which is the incoming supply and then outgoing now we have first feeder which is the M mcc it's going to feed an mcc bs which is located in the other side and then the other two feeders which is a db and then the pf pressurization fan okay it goes to feed another pressurization fan which is beside the mcc 49 f pf it fits this mcc panel okay from the db side it goes and then feed this power db okay okay from the mcc side which is the feeder which is going to feed the mcc mcc 49 fpf the incoming supply is already there as you can see and then the outgoing supplies which are going to feed some four numbers of fans so we have um, some four numbers of fans which are outside it fits that okay and then we have a trunking which is also being installed for bms so we have monitoring which has been done for bms monitoring and controlling 
for these panels. It's going to monitor and control all these four numbers of fans, as you can see. And then on the other side, we have drop, which we've done, which goes to the DDC panel, which is direct digital control panel 01. In this floor, we have two numbers of DDC panels. We have 01 and then the 02 is in the other side, which I will discuss in the other video. Basically, this is what we've done so far. Construction is still ongoing. And when we're done with all the other works, and then moving forward to the test fix and then testing and commission, and I will do another video so that I get to understand exactly how it is moving. Top here also, we have the fire alarm system, which we've done. We have two modules, our interface module and the relay module. So monitor module and interface module, sorry. So these two modules are going, and then we have a third party cable. Normally we have to drop two different third party cables for MM and then for IM. So both conduits are going to drop to the MCC panel so that it interface with the fire alarm system. So we will go through the cost and effect metrics that is that is we will be doing that during the testing and commissioning stage that i will explain that very well so they get to understand exactly how it is being done thank you very much and hope to see you in the next video the washing macaque enterprises please do like share subscribe and keep sharing as well as turn on the notification button so that anytime we upload a new video you're going to be notified and thanks for watching